So here's how I think about different types of sensory sensitivities. You can think about this like bandwidth. So for people that have sensory sensitivities, we're basically saying, I don't have the bandwidth to be able to take on all of that stimulus at once, and it becomes noxious, which is another way to say an irritant. For example, like I'm in the age demographic where I've got kids, when kids start getting wild, they start getting loud, there's a point at which it becomes like too much. And the more tired you are, or the longer the day's been, or whatever that is, the threshold for that amount of noise that you can tolerate changes. And the same thing happens when we have a brain injury. You just want to think about it like when we damage that computer that we have, the processing speed goes down. Same as if you spike your iPhone off the floor. It doesn't run as fast, starts to get hot, right? It doesn't work as well. We can apply those same concepts when we think about treatment. We want to take account to where do we have that weak spot? Is it relative to light? Is it relative to sound? And then we know the pathways that are associated with those functions. And then we wanna say, how do we start to build up the tolerance levels so the processing can be faster, so they can onboard more information again? And if we think about it that way, then the playbook opens up where we feel like there's more options to be able to tackle that particular problem.